What we're going to do in this video is quickly review exponential growth and then use that as our platform to introduce ourselves to exponential decay. So let's review exponential growth. Let's say we have something that, and I'll do this on a table here. Oops, let me make that straight. So let's say this is our x and this is our y. And let's say when x is zero, y is equal to three. And every time we increase x by one, we double y. So y is gonna go from three to six. If x increases by one again, so we go to two, then we're gonna double y again. And so six times two is 12. This right over here is exponential growth. And you could even go for negative x's. When x is negative one, well if we're going back one in x, we would divide by two. So this is going to be three halves, three halves. And notice if you go from negative one to zero, you once again, you keep multiplying by two and this will keep on happening. And you can describe this with an equation. You could say that y is equal to and sometimes people might call this your y-intercept or your initial value, is equal to three. Essentially what happens when x equals zero is equal to three times our common ratio. And our common ratio is, well what are we multiplying by every time we increase x by one? So three times our common ratio two to the, to the x, to the x power. And you can verify that, pick any of these. When x is equal to two, it's gonna be three times two squared, which is three times four, which is indeed equal to 12. And we can see that on a graph. So let me draw a quick graph right over here. So I'm having trouble drawing a straight line. All right, there we go. And let's see, we could go, and then they're gonna be on a slightly different scale, my x and y axes. So this is x axis, y axis, and we go from negative one to one to two. And let's see, we're going all the way up to 12. So let's say that this is three, six, nine, and let's say this is 12. And we could just plot these points here. When x is negative one, y is three halves. So it looks like that. Then at y equals zero, X is, uh, when x is zero, y is three. When x equals one, y has doubled, it's now at six. When x is equal to two, y is 12. And you'll see this telltale curve. And so there's a couple of key features that we've, well we've already talked about several of them. But if you go to increasingly negative x values, you will as asymptote towards the x axis. It'll never quite get to zero as you get to more and more negative values, but it'll definitely approach it. And as you get to more and more positive values, it just kind of skyrockets up. We always, we've talked about in previous videos how this will pass up any linear function or any linear graph eventually. Now, let's compare that to exponential decay. Exponential exponential decay. And an easy way to think about it, instead of growing every time you're increasing x, you're going to shrink by about, uh, by a certain amount. You are going to decay. So let's set up another table here with x and y values. That was really a very, I'm supposed to, this is supposed to, when I press shift, it should create a straight line, but my, in my computer, I've been eating next to my computer. Maybe there's crumbs in the keyboard or something. <laughs> All right, so here we go, we have x, and we have y. And so let's start with, let's say we start in the same place. So when x is zero, y is three. But instead of doubling every time we increase x by one, let's go by half every time we increase x by one. So when x is equal to one, we're gonna multiply by one half, and so we're going to get to three halves. And then when x is equal to two, we'll multiply by one half again, and so we're going to get to three, we're going to get to three fourths, and so on and so forth. And if we were to go to negative values, when x is equal to negative one, well, to go, if we're going backwards in x by one, we would divide by one half, and so we would get to six. Or going from negative one to zero, as we increase x by one, once again, we're multiplying, we're multiplying by one half. And so how would we write this as an equation? I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can write it in a similar way. Well, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna be y is equal to, 
you have your you could you could have your y intercept here the value of y when x is equal to 0 so it's 3 times what's our common ratio now well every time we increase x by 1 we're multiplying by 1/2 so 1/2 and we're going to raise that to the x power And so notice, these are both exponentials. We have some, you could say y intercept or initial value and it's being multiplied by some common ratio to the power x. Some common ratio to the power x. But notice, when you're growing, our common ratio and it actually turns out to be a general idea, when you're growing, your common ratio, the absolute value of your common ratio is going to be greater than 1. Let me write it then. So the absolute value of 2 in this case is greater than 1, but when you're shrinking, the absolute value of it is less than 1. And that makes sense because if the if you have something where the absolute value is less than 1, like 1/2 or 3/4 or 0.9, every time you multiply it, you're going to get a lower and lower and lower value. And you can actually see that in a graph. Let's graph the same information right over here. And let me do it in a different color. I'll do it in I'll do it in a blue color. So when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 6. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3 halves. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 fourths, and so on and so forth. And notice, because our common ratios are the reciprocal of each other, that these two graphs look like they've been flipped over. They look like they've been flipped horizontally or flipped over. the y axis they're symmetric around that y axis and what you will see in exponential decay is that things will get smaller and smaller and smaller but they'll never quite exactly get to zero it'll approach zero it'll asymptote towards the x axis as x becomes more and more positive just as for exponential growth if x becomes more and more and more negative we asymptote towards the x axis so that's the introduction i do use a very specific example but in general If you have an equation of the form y is equal to a times some common ratio to the x power, and we could write it like that just to make it a little bit clearer. Well, there's a bunch of different ways that we could write it. This is going to be exponential growth. So if the absolute value of r is greater than 1, then we're dealing with growth because every time you multiply, every time you increase x, you're, multi you're multiplying by more and more r's is one way to think about it. And if the absolute value of r is less than 1, you're dealing with decay you are shrinking as x increases and i let you think about what happens when what happens when r is equal to 1 what are we dealing with in that situation and it's a bit of a trick question because it's actually quite straight oh i'll just tell you if r is equal to 1 well then this thing right over here is always going to be equal to 1 and you boil down to just the constant equation y is equal to a so this would just be a horizontal line